Hello, this is Sam Ohaj with Season 6 of GBTV's The Game Clock. Today is November 12th as this recording is happening, so not all sports may be up to date. In your varsity news, the Newburgh Goldback season has come to a heartbreaking end. After defeating Monroe Woodbury last Saturday to win the Section 9 title for the fifth time in a row, the Goldbacks were defeated by the New Rochelle Huguenots 42-7 on Saturday, November 10th. The season was a memorable one as the Goldbacks finished 7-1 and and won the Section title. If I had to give out an award to any players, it would be Gianni Hill. Hill was lights out on both offense and defense and really became the X-factor of the Goldbacks. The Goldbacks are now looking to rebuild and improve this season on the new motto, Fixed on Six. A lot of the varsity teams, including JV, are on tryouts for sports such as basketball, bowling, indoor track and field, etc., so be sure to tune in for new updates. And your MLB, NBA, and NFL news. The MLB's, MLB season has been over for the last couple of weeks, but last night the AL and NL Rookies of the Year were announced. For the NL Rookie of the Year, Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves took home the honors. Acuna had 26 home runs, 64 RBIs, and played in 111 games, which was phenomenal for a rookie. Shohei Otani took home the AL Rookie of the Year as well. Otani, a two-way sensation out of Japan, could pitch and hit for the Los Angeles Angels. Otani pitched 10 games before having to only hit as he tore his UCL. Personally, the rookies Glaber Torres and Miguel Andujar of the New York Yankees were snubbed, but still, congrats to Otani. Carmelo's Anthony's short stint with the Houston Rockets is over. After seeing Houston struggle, the Rockets placed Melo on waivers to sign to a new team. Jimmy Butler has finally been traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. This is huge as Butler finally gets his demand of being traded and joins a contending team in the East. Week 11 of the NFL has begun. The season is still on pace to be a regular one, but notable news was that Des Bryant was signed by the New Orleans Saints after being a free agent the last six months. However, Bryant tore his Achilles in practice and is now forced to sit out this season. A huge blow to not only the Saints, but Bryant as well, who have really begun to turn his career around. And your college football news, Alabama is still undefeated. Simple as that. College basketball has begun, and all I could say is Duke Blue Devils. The Blue Devils were ranked as the fourth best team despite having the best recruiting class this season. R.J. Barrett, the projected first overall pick, and Zion Williamson, the second overall pick, have been lights out. Barrett and Zion, along with Cam Reddish, demolished Kentucky by a score of 114 to 84. The three of them combined for over 70 points. This was a huge statement game as Kentucky had been ranked second, and because of this, in the latest college rankings, Duke now st stands at the rightfully deserved number one. This has been Sam Ohaj with The Game Clock. Check me out every Friday on GBTV with your latest sports news and updates. This is The Game Clock.